everybody, this is Devin Townsend and I am coming to you semi-live from Plovdiv in Bulgaria, where next September 22nd, I hope to see you guys watching us guys do a by request set with a symphony and with a choir, as well as, for the first time ever, the entire Ocean Machine record. Now you see, when I look around this place, I'm trying to sort of get my bearings as to the nature of what has come before because this venue is literally thousands of years old. In fact, they just uncovered more ruins, which has dated it further back in the past than had previously been thought. Now when you think of this, you would think that this probably had some really organic and majestic name. But no, I just found out this place is actually called the Ancient Theater. Ancient Theater. Okay, so that's the only thing about this that doesn't reek of culture as far as I'm concerned. But we're going to show you around here. We're going to give you an idea as I get myself prepared for what's going to happen here. Become excited and hopefully give you guys a bit of an idea of what you can expect when you come to this part of the world. I can't wait to see it. In fact, the acoustics here brings me almost literally to tears. <clears throat> Let me test this out. Hey! Someone responded, you see? That's the type of thing this is gonna be, interactive. And we hope to see you guys, as well as get your ideas for the by request set. So let's check this out, come on. Hey! Hey! Can't even tell you guys, can't even tell you. Here we are, you gotta be here. Because if you're not here, you're somewhere that's not epic and we can't have that because the word epic is so overused and it's become a buzzword, right? Which is a buzzword in and of itself. But for the sake of this, I can't think of a more suitable adjective than epic. Please, just come with us. Enjoy the histoire. It's French, see? See, as the cultural ambassador for Canada, I'd like to point out that it's a little known fact that this slab here of some unknown mineral, which I'm going to assume is marble because that sounds really epic, this, it's a little known thing, is actually our set list that we're going to be playing at this show next year. And if any of you can decipher this, perhaps you'll be the first one to get your special request heard when we play with the orchestra and symphony in this epic, epic, historically valid venue. Can you guess what this is? Is there anything to do with marching poosers? I doubt it. So let's make this epic. This is up to you guys. Let's carry on, come on. Almost like a significantly less beefy version of Russell Crowe. I come into the gladiator's circle and say, oh my God, I'm excited. Look at this. I was told about this area here, which is the main entrance, is back thousands of years ago when they had the emperors that would come to see the performances, this is where they would seat them because that was the best view, it had the best acoustics. But now, this is where the sound person goes, so, you know, that probably gives an extra level of uh, authenticity to that job. And for the rest of you, you'll have to just settle for the the pithy marble. It's not pithy at all. In fact, look at over there. That lady there without the head. See? So here's the entranceway of the 
sadly named ancient theater. Well, maybe it's not sad. Maybe it's actually very appropriate because it is truly ancient. And as you're walking down this corridor, your thought may be, well, what are we going into here? Is this going to be a standard venue? Is it going to smell like stale beer and urine? The surprise is yours. Please come this way. Let me show you what it opens up to. You remember that scene again, Gladiator. The man looking around, panoramic, except without the CGI. You recognize that you're in a thousand, not even one, let's say 2,000. Well, I'm going to go with 2,000 year old venue, which the original intention of it was for people to enjoy music without amplification. Strategically, this place was built to carry sound in such a way that it befits not only the music that we hope to play, but also the symphony and choir that we're going to have playing with us. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm so psyched. You know what I am right now as well? Cold. And I can't wait till September of next year when it's not cold. <laughs> All right, what else can we show you here? There's so much. Look at that. It's like a garbage can that was made by uh, Caesar himself, right? Chipped away at that while he was sitting here watching um, various religious sects being eaten by lions. Now we're continuing here with my uh, history lesson, Plovdiv, Bulgaria. Have I mentioned that we're playing here next year, September 22nd? Two shows, Ocean Machine in its entirety, and a by request show in which down there we have both a choir and a symphony. And those songs will hopefully be chosen by you guys online. And when you are selecting songs and suggesting songs for us to play at this show, um, we're hoping that you can go back through the uh, material and find ones that would be appropriate for this type of a presentation. Now I know all this seems a little far-fetched, but this is history we're talking about here. And you heathens may not recognize the cultural significance of all these little anecdotes that I'm putting forward to you. But when you get here and you smell the crisp Plovdiv air and you taste the shiny yet rugged Plovdiv marble, with your very tongues, you will recognize that not only is culture a part of all of us, but something that is here for us to share. We'll see you here, my friends. Epicness gets used too much as an adjective, as a descriptor, but in this case, there's no more epic things that could happen than will happen here September 22nd. Oh yeah. to cordially welcome you to Sofia, Bulgaria. Why am I in Bulgaria, you may ask, or you may not? Well, I'll tell you, next September 22nd, I'm playing Ocean Machine in its entirety, which is its 20th anniversary, as well as a by request set at an old ancient amphitheater in Plovdiv, Bulgaria. Now, the problem is I have to get there, and the the promoter, I hear he's not particularly well endowed, has asked me to get there on my own. No way that this is going to happen to you guys, but for me, i got to hitchhike there. So, let's go out and let me just sort of show you what's going to be happening here for your own transportational needs. You see, when you come here, they're organizing a transportation. You see, I have to hitchhike there because these people don't give me the respect that I deserve as a multinational recording artist. But for you, we're organizing a transportation that's not going to be in one of these dusty old buses that you see rolling up. We're going to have a transportation system that's specifically designed for people who have come out of town, out of country, and are trying to get to the Plovdiv gig, right? So when you guys get here, you'll probably look much like me, walking up, waiting here. And you're going to see a public transport. You see all this stuff coming up? I'm going to have to take that. But for you, you're going to have a package deal that allows you to get here in style, comfort, and class. But again, promoter putting me in this situation where I have to get there on my own. Well, let's just follow and see how this goes. All right? Give me about, what is it, an hour and ten minutes to get to Plovdiv? It's going to take me about eight. It'll take you guys about an hour and ten. Let's see what happens, all right? Here's my bus. The drag. Yours is probably comfortable, heated, warm. 
Alright, we'll see how it goes. See you guys in a little bit. Ziltoid has also arrived. Ha <laughs> Surprise! I gotta go. See you in a bit. My name is Devin. I'm here in Bulgaria. I'm now an official Bulgarian. My balls are so Gary. I'm gonna call my balls Gary. Ball Gary man. Bulgarian. All right, see? Oh, what is this? This wasn't even here. How did this happen? All right, so we have now discovered in Bulgaria that my name is on the fluid of life, water. And from here on out, I gotta find my way to Plovdiv. I think that's, it's Plovdiv. But for the sake of this presentation, for the show coming up, September 22nd, 2017, the uh, name of the town is now Plovdiv. And I got a hitch all the way there because I'm totally not with two people here that have a car and we can get there with no problem at all. I'm totally gonna hitchhike. Are you ready? Onward! see me on the way and I'm still here I need to get there by the 22nd so nobody nobody is it because I haven't exfoliated I bet you it's because I haven't exfoliated right, I'm gonna catch this ride and we'll see you guys there but uh, again I'm still here your brother is solid and pick me up all right Maybe it's because I spelt it wrong. I just think this is better. Anybody? And? 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 Ah! Suck it. Ah! Suck it. Christmas in Plovdiv, yeah. With all of the folks at home. Yeah, this is uh, this is uh, the best part about it being so uh, damn cold here right now is that those trees that are under wraps are actually palm trees. Another little known fact: they are planning to unveil those for the show that we do here. You got to keep that to yourself because you don't want to ruin the cultural significance of that surprise but they're gonna turn the heat up and release the palm trees for ours ours <laughs> for ours <laughs> i turn the heat up and release the palm tree for ours as well <laughs> it's like we got the soundtrack too yeah, Christmas in Plovdiv, guys. See that? Cameraman just told me to go pick the Santa Claus. But... Listen, man, I'm not that type of guy. I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm into culture, right? I don't just willy-nilly go around kicking Santa in the willy, okay? So we'll have no more talk of this. Let's carry on. All right, guys, here we are at the restaurant. Part of what we're trying to do to get people to come in here and, and uh, entice you into the cultural hub that is Plovdiv is introduce certain wines into these packages that are being offered. But as a non-drinker, I don't have the best palate for that. You know, the notes of jicama and the uh, bubblegum uh, tongue or whatever it is. Anyway, Andy, of course, is a fancy pants and really likes wine, so this is called a wine snoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like you've snooted. It there, is, yeah. ready? So, okay, now gently, pour it gently. I'm, this is gentle. All right, ready? Remember, just, we're not in urinal. How know, much? Yeah. Just, just a drop there. Just urinal a heat? Nose, yes. Right? Come on, you gotta put more than that in there. Can you, can you smell the oak? 
the oak. Well, we're going to see. We're going to yeah. take that to the Notes of tennis balls and and, uh, and ant eater. That's great. Snowed. Is it good? Unmistakably, uh -huh. Merlo. We'll see where we go from here, guys. Keep tuned and stay tuned as well. <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sanctuary! Oh. One time I was good with cats and now they hate me. It's getting cold, but let's look around. Yo, dude, we're uh, we're gonna be here September 22nd. Bring all your buddies, all right? Don't forget to uh, bring that stuff I was telling you about as well. All right, cheers, man. Plovdiv 2019, whatever. Plovdiv 2017. Yo, Dev, uh, I'm gonna be back here next year, and uh, while you're putting this together with that stern and steely look, make sure you don't screw this up because it's a, a culturally significant event for you specifically. All right. You guys know Andy? Andy manages this whole thing. Hello. He has been doing it since uh, addicted. And all these uh, ideas and all these plans come from him. And so I can't wait to be here and uh, see if we can pull off yet another one. Thanks for this one, brother. No worries. You coming? I'm coming. He's coming. All right. Come meet Andy. There's been a lot of people that have a lot of opinions on the true nature of reality and for myself I've never been able to really subscribe to one thing or another but here near the ancient theater we have something that may just work for me and that's the Assumption Church and I'm just going to assume that we all either came from moths or a combination of cat DNA and marble come make up your own mind I dare you Oh, and this place is crazy. So you see this whole area is just ancient cobbly goodness after ancient cobbly goodness mixed with some quasi Tudorian goodness and bags of decomposing cats because they didn't pet me or be pet by me. The guy was a dick. Oh, you don't even know. Oh, I'm real good at that saving the world thing there. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, check it out. Ancient theater. When you come and you see the sign, make a solid that direction. You see, I'm trying to change my image. I'm trying to legitimize myself because because of the way that I feel in terms of social situations, anytime a camera gets on me, I have this affected voice and I act like a jackass. But now, how can I do anything but pretend I'm simply a beast in a cage here at the Ancient Theater? So, in the sake of 25 years of being me, rawr, I'm a beast in a cage, ready to play at this venue, feeling embarrassed in hindsight later on tonight at the hotel. No, that's not true. I'm not embarrassed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're here back for day two of the distinguished Andy Faro wine tasting. Now, a little known fact about Bulgaria is not only do they have exquisite wines, they're also the creators of yogurt. It's yogurt, man, yogurt. They're the creators of Yogurt Man, who is a superhero that flies from building to building, spreading his wings only to dispense benevolence on all the plebeians below. Yogurt Man, yogurt man, I'm so sorry. 
right. So not only are they responsible for yogurt, man, they also created yogurt. So today, we're going to try this one, which has a bouquet of... Frogs. No, frog. no, no, it's good. It's yes. good. good, strong legs. Yes. I, think it's, I think it's a Shiraz, maybe, yes. It has good, strong legs, like the Bulgarian women that have been the apple of his eye for this past few days. It's got the aroma of clams, clams and tennis balls. And on the back of the tongue, blackberries and a bit of raw beef. Hey, tonight reminds us of frivolity and parties and Bulgarian strong-legged women. So the legs on that are strong. Yeah. It has good legs. Good the legs. It's got good legs. It's got a, a rosy red color. A really good bouquet. It's got a bouquet of snoot. What's it taste like? And? What is it? Is Slightly it? heavy on the tannin, but you know. Yeah. We're not in France, but you know. Totally. We're in the Mediterranean where tannin beds are a common thing. Actually, it's not the beds. It's just everybody gets a tan. Because you said tannin. And even in September. That's it's right. It's hot in Bulgaria. That's Remember right. that. So come to Bulgaria because we're selling it. We're being endorsed by the tourism board. And without this endorsement, everybody's screwed because yeah. we are the faces of the future of Bulgaria. This one in particular. So it, last night it got a 7 out of 9 um, pharaohs. 7 out of 9, yeah, well. How many pharaohs does this one get? I give this one an 8. 8 pharaohs out of 9. Good lord. <laughs> Chateau de Boeuf, 1992. Every sip is like a kick in the nuts. Thank you. All right, guys. September 22nd, 2017. Devon Townsend Project, Ocean Machine in its entirety, as well as a by request set, including not only an orchestra, but also a choir. So, we hope to see you there.